I've been starting my deadlift giant sets with these dumbbell snatches. That's just 40 pounds there. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing with these. I just started doing them to learn a different movement that will hopefully help me become a better, faster, more explosive athlete. I didn't film too many of those. I think I just filmed two sets. Um, this is 225. I was working up to a heavy double today, well, on this day. I knew I wanted to do 545 for two. We'll see that I got it. It wasn't the prettiest thing, but it was all right. So I'm working up here. I just kind of, I wasn't really paying attention to how many reps I was doing, just going until I felt like it was enough to move on to a heavier weight in another set. Here's some more of those snatches that I don't really know how to do. In between these sets, I did um, hanging lateral leg raises for obliques. Um, I did eight to 10 each side. Didn't film any of those, just out of the interest of time. But anyway, going into deadlifts, they felt really good, surprisingly good. I knew once I started going 315, it just felt really smooth. Um, I've been doing my deadlifts touch and go recently. I know that's kind of just a lot more than powerlifting circles. This is 405 here. Because, you know, in competition, you're not doing touch and go. But honestly, it has helped smooth my deadlift out a lot. I don't think that's exclusively what I'll do, but if you don't do it, I highly recommend giving it a try. This is 475. 475 is always a funny weight. I don't do it often. I never know how it should feel. But yeah, going back to touch and go. This is 515. I was real happy with this. It really helps help me learn good position. You know, my position still has issues. And okay. it just smoothed things out. Here's 545. Um, moved decently. I've been slowing down at my knees. I think I know what to do about that. But off the floor and lockout, both feel strong. Here's the second rep. Moved well. He's pretty happy with that. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. All right.